This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. Just as we suspected, Apple is indeed holding an event in California on October 27th to debut new Macs. Expect to see higher screen resolutions, machines running on Intel's faster processors, and better graphic support. Most notably, we'll likely see the first update to the now iconic MacBook Air in quite some time. There's still some speculation about what the MacBook Pro will evolve into and whether or not Apple will in fact include soft modular buttons. We'll know soon enough. But looking further down the road, the Wall Street Journal reports that Apple may be looking to totally revamp the keyboards on the company's laptops using a kind of e-ink technology. This would allow for key labels to change dynamically, offering what could be an endless amount of customization. The new tech could be in Apple machines by 2018. Finally, moving to the world of wireless, T-Mobile has agreed to pay the FCC $48 million in a settlement over misleading unlimited data plans. According to the FCC, a top 3% user of bandwidth would get throttled at certain points when encountering heavy network traffic. As a result of the settlement, T-Mobile has also agreed to use a broadband fax label for transparency. Think of it as nutrition facts for your mobile plan. You can stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app in the Apple App.